What? I've panicked. It's okay. I'm going to start with something and I've just fucking... This is only our 173rd episode. What are we at? Close to that. 76. 77, 76. 176. Kids are eating. So you've got nothing to start with? No. Would you like me to start with? No, I've got something. I've got a thought. I've got something good. Go on. You know how we were doing that yarn the other day about what all the medalists get? Money-wise? Cash, cash money. Cash money. Dollar wa- bills, Jack. Cash money greens, wise. Re- greens and reds. Greens, reds, blues. Yeah. You know, you got Throw the- them dollar bills. Just yeah. fuck it. Throw them. Yeah. Who's them. Okay, fucking dokey. So sorry. What a way to start. Well, Louisa, mm. I've got half a yarn for you. Go on. Oh, I'm going to have to find the fucking thing. Oh, perfect way to fucking start. Well, it doesn't so even have it ready. No, these cunts have so many Is that many your work posts. phone? Is it the one about the guy from the Philippines? Yes. Yes. It, all right. I know this yarn. That's exactly what... When the fuck was it? Geez, they post a lot of stuff on here. Hold on. You Hold. know what you should do, Jack, is you should screenshot and add it to a notes folder. I screenshot that it. That says we mean well content. Dude, I literally did screenshot it. Yeah. But then I'm trying to find it on Yahoo Sports. Yeah, I'm just sending it to the women. Oh, chat. for God's sakes. What would you do without Willie and me? Like, I'd be dead. You actually probably would be. Kid's good. So, every gift Carlos Yulo received for his gold medal. This is a Filipino. Was he a fucking gymnast or something? Yeah, I think so. This is what this kid get, gets. 10 million pesos. That's 266,000 AU. Australian dollars. That's a quarter of a million dollars from the Philippines government. Six million pesos, which is $159,000 in cash incentives from the House of Rep. So cash. So that's already, that's nearly half a million dollars. This is for winning a gold. 24 million pesos, which is 638,000. Two bedroom condo in McKinley Hill Township from Filipino real estate agent Megaworld. A lifetime supply of free ramen from Hug Jamemu Sushi and Ramen Bar in Calasio. A lifetime supply of free mac and cheese. A lifetime supply of free chicken. A lifetime of free consultations and colonoscopies oh. from a gastro and tenorologist Beautiful. or whatever the fuck they're called. Beautiful. So he gets dut checks. Right. Free university credits from the University of Mindanao or something. So. That's his whole life set up. Mate. I, I've got a question for you though. Hit me. I've always wondered, how do you define a lifetime supply? You know how people will be like, we're in a lifetime supply of petrol. What's a lifetime so supply? It would, de- it, would, it would depend on the competition. There'd be stipulations surrounding it. So they, they could, could either have a say, little asterisk. No, no, this is the way they do it. So a lifetime supply would be X amount of litres of petrol, say. So they're like, if you are on average burn X amount of litres a week, then by, let's say the average human life is 78 years which I believe it is in the Western world, average that out, it'd be a literage amount. Chicken, it'd be like, well, you eat two whole chickens a week, you get two chickens a week. But what if I'm a big chicken eater? Exactly right. Or what if I'm a big driver? But they determine- Or what if I'm a big colonoscopy could be a guy? Well, if you love getting your dut checked, right? Then let's say you get your dut checked every three months, then they'd say, well, you know, no, that's crazy. Every year you get a dut check. So they'd be like, you're 31, let's say they'd give you 40 something years of Dut checks. So you got right. 40 colonoscopies up your sleeve. Right. And what if I'm a big mac and cheese girl? What I've just said, Louise, it doesn't matter on and what the, if I'm a big ramen girl? I understand what you, you're not listening to what I'm saying. And what what Yeah. What yeah. if I'm a big pesos guy? Yeah, the pesos. It doesn't matter on the individual. What matters is how they determine it. So it's technically not really a lifetime supply because they. It'd be a fair fucking bit of chicken. Who is It'd be the, a fair whack of chicken. I would love a lifetime supply of chick. And you'd have a few chooks. You'd have a few chook deaths under your belt. Don't worry about it. Mm, All I right? love chicken. I know. So do I. What's your favourite meat? I'd get me started. Sausage. I like that prison shower meat. We're not on the Patreon. Sweaty, too. sweaty hogs. I had three sausage. Hey, I like pork. I had three sausage rolls in the weekend. Pork sorts. Three ginormous sausage rolls. Well, they were shared, but I had well, a fair a amount oh, right. of the sausage roll. Oh my god! They're very greasy. Only fans? They were too big, and they were almost like dog meat. Oh. I didn't mind them though. <laughs> Why'd you have? Th- 
Who the fuck shares a fucking sausage roll? We had cook? three of them. There was three of us, and no one else seemed to like them, so I just kept nibbling. So you've just demolished three saucies. No, but I had a fair share of the three. You had three saucies overseas and you couldn't stop yapping about it. Now you've wrapped them in fucking baked goods. You've wrapped them in crumbs. We'll hear about these fuckers for the next two years. <laughs> but I, I've never really been a big sauce roll girl. Well, pastry queen. But now I reckon I might turn into a sauce roll girl. I love a sausage roll. I might stop dropping sauce roll. Love it. <laughs> uh it's a long way to, to the, the shops if, if you, you want, want a sausage, sausage roll. roll. The, oh. It's all good to eat sausage rolls. My guts, though, afterwards, I get like acid reflux. Yeah, but little Jachi can't have a margarita and he can't have a sausage roll either. You and Wumpy together can't have margaritas or was it Wumpy Wumpy can't have them? Ma- Wumpy is a tough man. He can have margaritas, kid. Mm, I can't. No, yeah, Jack, it's I okay. Just, no, it's just not. You're more of an Admiral my, Spritz My consistency. Guy. It just doesn't work for you. Mate, yeah, no, fuck them. Fuck margarita. Fuck acidy shit. That's I love That's why whiskey's margaritas. fucking so good. It's just, oh, it burns you. It's smooth. I it's love golden. margaritas. And I hate them. Yeah, but that's because Jackie's little tum-tum. It is my little tum-tum. I'm glad to know that Wumpy's tough. He can handle them. Does he drink? Does he get reflux, though, and just keep drinking through it? Nah. See, because that's not good. If you get reflux, you don't, don't force it, because that can lead to throat cancer. Big oh. time. Well, I know what else can, Willie. Well, that's why they were knocking off fuck. Yeah, sucking. And fucking, that's why they were knocking polyps off my throat and out of my guts. Cause I'm from, your mar- from drinking too much margarita? Don't know, just throat damage. I'd say that whiskey's probably just as bad as a margarita for you, kid. That's how you did, right, kid. Yeah. But at least I like it. Yeah. And, my, and like, they're just too, they're not nice. They're delicious. If you get a good marg, they're delicious. Nah, they're like, cit- they're too citrusy. I love a marg, dude. I Do you? Uh, they, they fuck me up, but I love them. Is that right? Do you know what pisses me off, though, Willie, is they always bring them in tiny tiny glasses i'm like kid i can drink this in one skull it wouldn't even fill an infant's tum tum who was that celebrity that stole a fuckload of them it was uh margot robbery or margot uh fuck what was it there was a celebrity that stole a margarita margot robbery oh i can't remember anyway that's beside the point that deserved a job (laughs) (laughs) no jots yet that earned a job no jots yet margot robbery is jot worthy, guys. Come on. Nah. Margarita Aura is probably. Oh, Willie, that's very good. Oh, shit, the kid's good. I'll jot it anyway. <laughs> oh, now you've nailed one. Yeah, you've nailed a great one. <laughs> now we like, get a jot. Put mine down. <laughs> All the jots are just Willie. He just starts correct. jotting himself the whole time. He's like, oh, sorry, kids, I'm the jot police. Oi, cunt. Yes. When are we getting you a camera? People keep it, saying it in the comments. So I want you on camera. Surely we could set one up there. Well, when he doesn't want set to. Set one up here. He wants to puff off screen. Yeah, yeah, he wants to. <laughs> I little. want my privacy. Do you want your privacy? Privacy. I mean, would you want to, uh, ca- be honest with us. Would he you doesn't. Want to- I can see it in his little eyes. He doesn't want a camera. That's fine. No camera. Stop pushing him, Jack. You're a bully. I just think when he does his one-liners in his face, it'd be great. Why don't we just do what he does with Wumpy and have a little... Um, Photo, Put like the GIF photo, that yeah. comes up? Yeah. Oh, I like Can we make up. a little GIF of Willie Or maybe dancing? I'll just be like, see her and I'll turn around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should fa- oh, no, but have a camera behind here. Yeah. <laughs> it's just your head. Oh, <laughs> Jack's like, hmm. Yep. Okay, we'll work okay. on it. Um, question. Mm. You know what would be a tough job? Well, not question, statement. The person who has to p- patrol all the planes that go into land and take off and stuff. How stressful would that be, Jack? Not being that stressful. That, fuck off. Being in that tower and being like, okay, you've got to circle for 30 minutes around Sydney because plane's coming in here. The runway's going that way. You've got a plane coming diagonal. You've got a plane coming horizontal. You've got a plane coming up. You've got a plane coming down. You've got a plane coming left, right, centre. Bam! ba boom. Shut the fuck up. No. Shut This is an audio platform. I will not up. stop ever. Shut it. Just zip I will it. not zip it. it. Let me tell you something. Couldn't be much harder than this. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see you up there. It, it, I would cause it would that, be so stressful. I would be on that many episodes of air crash investigation. It wouldn't be funny. Because you'd, you'd go, yeah, you're good to land. Oh, fuck, no, wait, wait, wait. There's actually, <laughs> Sorry, mate. I'll talk to Hang on, wait, there's a Boeing 737 <laughs> coming. Fuck. Go back up, go back up. Mate, sorry, my work phone's going off. I'm fucking, yeah, nah. <laughs> sorry, I got a WhatsApp. Hang on. Uh, can I record tomorrow 9 a.m.? Oh, fuck, hang on, hang on, hang on. The Airbus is coming and go up, go up, go back up. Because <laughs> I thought about it. No, it'd be Because I had traumatic. to circle over Sydney for like half an hour. And I was like, 
Imagine b- being the person to the pilot going, mate, you can't come down for a bit. Imagine if they run out of pity as well. Mate, it is. I'd assume a lot of it would be automated. No. They would need a... <laughs> no. No. <laughs> They would need someone in the tower 24 No, I understand that, but I, I assume that they ha- they'd have the tech now that a lot of it would sort of be automated. Nah, they just have a WhatsApp group. Is it? Hey, mate, you're good to land now. Yeah, you're sweet, cunt. You've missed it. And he's like, cheers, can't you see this meme? The pilot's like... Shock on first landing. No, no Jarch has just missed it because he hasn't got his work phone. Oi, you can land. Oi, bring the fucking plane down. <laughs> They're just coming down like fucking missiles. We had to the other day when we are flying back from the hacker... It was so – oh, I think I spun this yarn, didn't I? And Steph was like, it's really fucking windy back here. I'm like, why the fuck would you tell me that? No. And because it was so windy, we couldn't land like that. We had to circle our way down to get Ooh. low enough to then try and land because it was so fucking windy and it was etch. Well, I, I really don't like you because you're making me fly to Armadale uh, and that's a 20-seater plane. Yeah. They're better, I reckon. No, and you're not even coming with me. I'm dr- well, no, you're well, no, you're friend. flying home. You're a shit friend. You've got the well, you could drive with me, Dar, but you don't like long drives. You don't want to drive. I actually don't want to. I know you don't want me to drive with you either. I do, D- Jack. I know that's why you said I'll drop you to the airport. Louisa, I would love to have you on the don't trip. Don't lie to me. I would. Look at your face. I would. You don't <laughs> want me <laughs> on the way up and the way back. I can read you like a book. No, and on you know the way what? up. I want you on the way up. Fine. I don't want to go on the way back with you either. I don't want to sit with you for six hours hungover. Because you wouldn't let me play my own music. I think the cracks are starting to shut. No. So we'd have arguments. I, I want to listen to the and Legends of the Old West and, podcast. I'd try and ask questions and you'd be just thinking, can you... Girl, shut the why did Sia? Why did Sia cover her face for so long? Do you think Jewel Leaper? Like, is there two of them? Like, is that why is Jewel like there's Jewel Leapers? What? Like, what is that? Where's her name come from? And then it's just ooh, what's that? Just, why is that sign there? Hotel Motel Holiday Inn. Inn. You know what I do when I'm driving, and I've re- I can tell that now. Um, one P is just like notices it. I'll just read signs. Or like business names, I'll just go, oh, Mr. John's, Mr. John's, Mr. John's Tacos. I know, buddy. Oh, there. I know. Camberwell. I know that too. Altona. Oh, pigs and feet. I know that too. Do I do it with you? Yes. You go, oh, a gallows. Well, that's a gallows just there. I'm like, yeah, yep. We've driven past that every single time we've driven together. Yes, well. correct, Louise. Peters of Kensington. Yeah. <laughs> yep, Lou, every time we come to the podcast. Every fucking time. 7 Eleven. Yeah, he, yeah. Patience of a saint. But, but one, people don't understand Wumpy's hilarious and Wumpy's full of energy. And yeah, no, I have to have patience with Wump sometimes. Yeah. But I would argue the pendulum swings more your way. Not with what? Tiny Tim. Not with Tiny Tim. <laughs> what, aren't you Slim Jim now? No, it's Tiny Tim and Slim Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Can but I no. just preface that he doesn't go like, it's Tiny Tim. Yeah. He's just like, g'day yeah. Tiny Tim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to fuck with Wumpy. No, I don't want to get Wumpy Wumpy. No. I don't need those forearms wrapped around me. Hey, newsflash. Yes, I fucking we'll do. Wind them up then, You're kid. a lucky chick. Twist them like one of those little windy ballerina doll things you had when you were young. I'm happy with it, Keep kid. Keep going. No, but we are, we're going up for the Rob Ball because we, we sponsor the the Rob Girls college Is it team. Black Tie? You haven't told me anything about it. You I'll have to ask head. Meg's doll. She fucking just I said- asked you about two weeks ago to ask. I need to find a dress. I wouldn't wait too hard. Well, just find out if it's black tie or if it's cocktail. Hey, Siri, set a reminder for 7.30 p.m. tonight. Driving home. G- ask about the Rob Ball dress. Oh, what? Yeah, good. Yeah, awesome. Okay. That'll make a lot of sense when yeah, you read that I'll back. I'll turn up in a tuxedo. It's still young. So. Great. <laughs> I might just wear this. <laughs> just rock up in my jeans. All Everyone's right. in gowns. Thank you, Siri. Enough. Stop. It's, it deleted it. Right. So that's not going to so happen. I, well, I won't <laughs> that won't happen. I'll you just text me tonight. Um, yeah, I will. Don't be worried. So, yeah, but the, the, the good thing is we're finally going to get you to the farms, which yes. I mean, the bed, what has it been called for, mate? A few verbiage around the bonfires, yeah. as you like to say. Oh, I can't wait to go to the end, lads. To the end. And then we all pour our VBs into our mouth mate, while we got the man eating cave. fucking biltong out of one mouth and I've got a cigar out, of one mouth. out the other. What are you and doing with I, the other mouth? Yeah. No, out of one side of my mouth, cigar <laughs> here, and then I've got a piece of um, corn, f- maize, yep. sticking out the other side and I'm just fucking chewing on yeah, it. Yeah, you just chewing. And your dad's going, fuck, she can tell stories. Like, I wish I had her as a daughter, not this uh, fuck with yeah, as a son. Literally. Okay. 
But it's going to be fun. We've got the man cave. We've got the man cave decked out. Pool, darts, Where country will music. I sleep? You can smoke in the man cave. I don't cave. want to be in a swag, please. You'll be in. A, you'll be outside. Like we've got those mad dog cages, so you'll be on them. It's Your mum will make me up an ice bed. No, no, the dog cage. Like the cement gets really cold, no, so it's like an ice bath. She'll make me up um, an ice bed. I get quite cold, Janelle. So if there's some type of like wheaty or hot water bottle, it would be nice, please. You know what is offensive what? is that you. We live in the coldest place in Australia on average. That's what Walker is. It's fucking freezing, and you assume that my parents are such big fucking. Um, slack jawed hillbillies that they don't have heating um, instruments within their house. I know they'll have heating How instruments, but I you? like to have a hot water bottle on my puku. I've actually burnt my oh. tummy from putting my hot water bottle on there and bare, <laughs> bare skin. The hot water, water bottles always give it a risk, aren't they? They're very dangerous, but you know what you could do? Franco taught me. So you have it here. Put ice in them. No, cool you hold down. it, so oh. you fill it up, you hold it, and then you put it next to your tummy and you pat the top like that and you get rid of the air because that's where they pop. There's too much air in them, Jack. And then you twist it on, you shake it, make sure it's steady, and then you put it on your puku. Okay. Or just bang on your electric blanket. Used to be a big leaky banky girl, but um, we we don't need them as much in Sydney, I believe. I agree. Melbourne's a lot colder, but locks places insulated, Jack. Well, Walker is cold. You might need your lecky. I mean, we've got the big fire. It'll warm the fucking house up like there's no tomorrow. We'll get you on Ooh, the guns I'll too. stoke the fire. We'll get you shooting. Oh, I'm phenomenal with a gun. I can't shoot. I can. I'm going to have to try and shoot with my left shoulder. I'll do shooting for both of us, kid. Yeah. The bump. Look. <gasps> Probably your best one yet. There's there's going to be – look, just know we're going to get loot of the farms and we're going to get some good Will content. I milk some cows? We don't have dairy cows. You could try and milk a bull. Mm, that feels dangerous. <laughs> I'm not going near any that snakes. Dangerous. <laughs> just straight over the head. What's the only implement you could milk on a bull? Cock? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we'll take you shooting. Um, I'm, not, I'm not playing with any snakes. Winner, there won't be any. Good. Um, what will we do? Eat. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably have to sustain ourselves. <laughs> like, I'm trying to think of country related shit. It's just like just eat. No, <laughs> but like, food. will we have what's it called? Gammy. Well, I uh, tell you what, we'll have. Is it gammy? When you kill something and eat it. Gammy, gamey. Do you mean game meat? Yes, like gamey meat. We're not going to eat. Nah, kangaroos have worms and shit all from. We're not eating those oh, fucking filthy I things. I thought it was like if you had a cow on your farm. Oh, no, it. we've got lamb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got killers. We can kill it. But Mm-mm. they're not lambs, dull. They're no, sheep. No, but I, you, I don't know what you've done with brown eye. He's still kicking. You can meet Will brown eye. Will I get eye. to see him? Yeah, can meet the steers. We, look, we'll just do a lot of fun shit. Can I ride him? Oh, Louisa. They're not very strong. You can't, can you? You can't ride the fucking I'll Take that back. Cut that bit, Willie. I know you can't. No, that's... Well, we'll keep I know it. you can't. I know. But I could. I can pat him and hang out with him and stuff. Probably can't. Can he, I bring him into the house? No. Can he sleep in my bedroom? If you, he comes into the house, then he's that night's roast. Just know that. So it's up to you. Can you ask your mum and dad if he can come into the house? <laughs> if we or, won't get it. He's a skittish little fuck. He's with a mob of sheep. He's not a fucking potty lamb. No. But that's okay. You can see him. What other animals will there be? Toy poodle. So that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Mum's got a toy poodle. Uh, about that, yeah. Kelpies, Shetlands, alpacas, steers. Bullshit, yeah. alpacas. Yeah. And they'll go. Yeah. yeah, spitting little fucks. They protect the, sh- the sheep. Kelpies, what, are they jumpy? Your ones? Yeah, they're jumpy. Any, you don't have any big ones? Big, no, 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 they're big kelpies. No, no, or anything? No, no. Oh, kelpies. Put you in a tractor. Oh, yes. Yeah, we'll have get you in a tractor. Have you an excavator? No, we don't. I be, reckon I'd be quite good in a tractor. How fast they go? 30 Ks? 50. You can get them up. You can get I'm them up there. We've got a big new Massey. For, I think we'll put I'm you in the old Massey. absolutely floor it. We're going to put you in the old Massey, not the new one, because I don't need the stress of then you crashing it and then dad being, <gasps> fucking, you bring fucking. Imagine if I crashed your dad's Oh, tracking. you'll crash the tractor. Uh, we'll get you, what else will we don't do? Don't stir. Get you on a motorbike. We've got a four-wheeler. Okay, don't stir me up with like an electric fence or anything, please. Won't do that. I'd actually probably cry. Don't think we have any electric fences on the property. How do you keep your animals in check? Good fences. I think they're meant to be electric. They don't have to be. I think you'd take that up with ASPH. Farming. The Australian Centre for People Help. 
Yes. Yes. <laughs> well done. Did I say centre and you said S? Yes. This is not a good podcast. I would disagree. <laughs> no, no. Podcasting is subjective. Yeah, correct. Some people might like it, some people might not. But bedwetters, just know that there's going to be a lot of Country Lou content coming up and we're going to have a lot of fun and my folks are stinging to have you up there. I can't wait. Didn't bloody, when's me mate Lulu coming up? So we'll go, we'll go on Thursday. Yep. And then we'll have the ball on the Saturday. Yep. And then I'll fly home. And then I'll fly to Hawaii that next day. Fucking look at you, your little Honolulu prince. Honolulu, don't worry You're about it. You're going to bring me back some presents? Correct. I can't wait to get you guys prezzies. I actually might, um, there's a handbag I want. You don't have to buy it for me. Right. Okay. Not what I was <laughs> I thinking. Mean- I was thinking more trinkety, like Honolulu <laughs> girl, like Hawaiian girl, hula girls and shit. But I might. I- <laughs> there's this Yves Saint Laurent. Um, it's like 3500 Pick no, it up there's for a me, handbag darling. I want, Jack, that I might <laughs> transfer you the money to bring back for me. Okay, doke. Why? Can you only get it in Hawaii? Uh, I, I can't find it anywhere in Sydney. And Is I it? assume they've got very good shopping there. That's what Steph reckons. You'll be getting yourself a pair of golden gooses? Uh, yeah. I'm actually, I've been looking up, because it's America, so I was like, is there any fucking boot barns over there that I can get some mad shit from? Cobras. Yeah, and new boots. Cobras are just the hats. Mm. Well, you could probably get those made. You should go to Bali and get a pair made. No. But they make good boots. Not they make me. leather jackets as well. Yeah. Ooh, you and a leather jacket would be disgusting. I've got a leather jacket. Because I used to, Sorry. and yeah, I used to get rinsed from it. All the boys, I'd like show up to the pub and I'd ride yeah. my bike Rum. to the pub. Here's the Harley Davidson rider. But literally, it was a Harley da- a Harley Davidson jacket that I bought. Have I spun this yarn? Probably. I bought it in an auction. <coughs> Mate, so I'm at this fucking auction, this fucking charity night for diabetes, mm. right? With my girlfriend at the time. <gasps> I'm so sorry. Yes. Steph, close your ears. She never listens. She doesn't care about this or me. True. So, got this fucking auction. Anyhow, they've got all these things up for bid. And I've just got bought a new motorcycle. And I'm like, fuck, I don't have a jacket yet. They had a motorcycle jacket up for auction. It was slick. I'm fucking sideways. So, I don't even know if this is my size. I don't know what's going on. But I am cunt up. And I'm like, this, and my missus, because it was for her old man was running the charity. So I was like, yeah, I'll get something for the charity. But the way that it worked is that you would put in a bid, mm. like fucking a, like a anonymous bid, and the highest bid wins the, the prize, right? So you could technically bet something for a – like put a dollar bid on, and if no one Not else bid on it, you'd win it for a dollar. Anyway, I go, fuck, those jackets are pretty exy. I'm like, I'll put 300 bucks. You know, if I win, great. If I don't, whatever. People will probably bid on it, blah, 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 blah. She has put 800. I go, no. I'm like, that is so fucking much money. For it. I'm like, not putting 800. Mm-hmm. She's like, do 800. I'm like, not doing it. We're having this back and forth. She's like, I'll put in some money. Just put in fucking, do $800. Mm-hmm. Blah, blah. And I'm charity. fucking shit face. It's a charity. I'm like, fine. Knowing she's not going to cover it, but I'm like, someone, I'll, it's charity. People will bid on it and get it. Won the jacket, kid. Guess how many other bids it had on it? Zero. Not fucking one. <laughs> Technically, I could have got that jacket for a dollar. dollar. I literally got to the end. They're like, are you Jack Arsell? I'm like, yes. She's like, you just got to pay for it now. And I was literally I know. <laughs> shaking my fucking card as I paid for this fucking $800 jacket. Had not even tried it on. Did it? Fit like a glove. Thank God. But it was also a Harley Davidson motorcycle jacket. So now I'm riding, I'm riding a Sol Invictus bike. With, with a Harley. Harley jacket on, looking like a proper fucking cocksucker. I'm not even riding a <laughs> oh, Harley. It's good stuff, good. <laughs> but can you, dude, I had so, you know when you get your anxiety, post-piss anxiety, PPA. How much you've spent. How much you've spent. That was just on the fucking jacket I'd spent that night. I probably ended up spending a fucking 1200 bucks that night. Hey, it's for Chezza. I understand that. But I'd spent eight hundred dollars on a fucking jacket, and when I found out the next day that no one else bid on it, you'd be fuming, Louisa. You could have had that for a dollar, kid. Could have had it for fifty. Could have had ten cents. Think of the memories and think of the charity. Thanks for the memories, even though it was so tense and tense like you and it's sweeter. sweeter. Now, how are you feeling in terms of arm, shoulder? Can I be honest with you? Yeah. Let's have a look. Ah. Okay. You want to see the wound? Not really. Oh, fuck off. That's a wound there. So it's not bad. Healed up pretty good. Did me first on rice bath. Yeah. Oh, so you, you're back into it. Can reach her all the way up. Yeah. Calm down. See? Yeah. Better good. than last time. Look, I don't don't up. pull it too no, hard. I've got to tra- I've got well, to now that it. you're up, grab the categories, would you? Woo, 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 woo. woo.
Restock alert. Restock, restock alert. alert. Restock alert. Restock, restock alert. alert. It's time, time. to restock so, the We Mean Well tracksuits. We've restocked the tracksuits. It's the We Mean Well tracksuit alert. Merch alert. It's a merch. It's a alert. Now listen, there's all sizes been restocked because, mate, you know how you look at a door and sometimes some things fly out of them? Yes. Well, these fuckers flew out the door. They flew out the door like someone flew out the plane when they were skydiving. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. So, we're very happy with that. So, we thought we'd do a bit of a restock just to give the bedwetters that missed out because we did get some messages being like, we missed out on the trackies and we apologise. Aggressive messages. I need my trackie. You pieces of fucking shit. We hate you. So, we've restocked all sizes. They're going to be here next Wednesday. 6 p.m. Which at- is... We mean well dot shop. Get your trackies next Wednesday, six PM. We mean well dot shop. That's the twenty first of July, by the way, next Wednesday. July is it? It is August. Fucking idiot. So it's the twenty first of August. Perfect. Which is we're in August. Twenty <laughs> first of August, six PM. We mean well dot shop. <laughs> and Hardly. the word is P for the letters P. Oh, sorry. The word is P for pterodactyl. Or P. I love how you just you doubled down. The word is P, the letter. Oh, okay, so the word, word is, is P. P. P for pterodactyl. The letter Guys, is. It's fucking late. It actually it, is. It's 1.04 p.m. I'm in bed by now. <laughs> yeah, because Rumpy's giving you the good stuff. Right, let's get into. Lockie's mum said it's very smutty stuff. It's <laughs> from you. It's from you, you pig. <laughs> the letter is pig. Oh, sorry. <laughs> P for P. P for pig, <laughs> which is you. Jack Pig Archdale. Sorry, Lockie's mum. All right, you ready to go? Uh, Three, two, one. <laughs> All guess. right. All right, cocksuckers. Oi. I love you. Pig. Things in a souvenir shop. Pans. <laughs> Paintings. Yep, because you could buy a pan with, like, the queen on it or something. Yeah, we said yeah. I'd like to help <laughs> you guys paint a picture. <laughs> TV shows. Peppa Pig. Uh, pilot. Alliteration. You get the um, double P. I said pilot. Parts. Sorry, so hold wait. on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what? What? I said. Let's check that pilot is it's a, a TV fucking show. awesome show. What's Same it about? Hold on. What's it about? No, what is I've forgotten what's it about. No, no, no. What's it about? Who's in it? It's, a, it's, it's got a pilot in it, doesn't it? No, there's nothing here, pilot. There is something, a TV. Series. Their episode, the first one is called the pilot episode. Yeah, that's a pilot, but that's not a TV show. But that's not a TV show. No, no. No, incorrect. Sorry, buddy, you don't get it. Nearly got away with it. Parts of the body. Penis. Psoriasis. That's not parts of the body. You only get your skin. Every now and then. I write penis as well, so we both don't get it. Oh, can I have that? No, have we done what? (laughs) (laughs) Can I (laughs) Can I have it? (laughs) Yeah, can I have it? Street names. Pasta Street. Penelope Place. Don't bring my ex girlfriend into this. You just brought up Pen. Penelope now, Place. P- look up Double Penelope. P. Suck my dick. If that's Penelope Place is not a street name then, right? Well, it is. Because it's a place. Doesn't mean it has to be a street. Well, there's an avenue. There's avenues, there's streets, and there's places. Yeah, but it's a, so, just a name of the, the whatever. The what? The place. Fucking road or street or well, place it's not a street or avenue. Name. It's a place it's an, or an avenue. I would agree to disagree. Penelope Place, Cranebrook. It's a street. It's not a street. But it's it's a, where someone lives. A street can be called place. Yeah, I'm just trying to fucking win. Yeah, fuck you. What did you say? Did you say pasta past? street, dude, of course. Like, are you talking about like the pasta you eat or the pasta is like running a church? P A S. T O R. No, you didn't. You wrote the one food one. All right, Turn it around. Past or street. No, you didn't. All right, you were past, past it. You silly shit. <laughs> we're not in Italy now, kid. Surely there's somewhere called Past or Street. I just hope there was. There is. Yes. In the UK. Yes. <laughs> Video games. Prince of Persia. Panda Run. Sorry? Panda Run. I just want to know what you said about Panda Run being a video game. It's yeah. a good one. And um, how do you play that? What what device is it on? It's on I think it's Nintendo PS5, uh, Wii, <laughs> all of them. PC, you can play it on as well. Played it when I was younger. It's Holy shit. Panda Run. It's a mobile game, the one thing you didn't Fuck, say. it's good. No, YouTube, you can play it on the tube. Yeah, good. Fuck, it's a good game, Panda Run. Panda Run. You're a gun, dude. <laughs> That's a ripper. Oh, I fucking love Panda all Run. All right. Things that have wheels. Porsche. Peugeot. 
Nice. Persia. Yeah, how the fuck do we spell that? <laughs> yep. No, it is P-E-U-G-O-T. Persia. Pergot. I pergot it's that. Pergot. School supplies. Pens. Pencil. Uh-huh. Words ending in N. Pin. Pen. Uh-huh. A lot of pen in this one. Yeah. Shout just out. Bring, bring, pen. bring it to memories. Bring it back memes. Children's books. Peter Pan. Peter Rabbit. Another alliteration for me. Wow. Oh, fuck. That's three alliterations. Desserts. Peach cobbler. Pumpkin pie. Alliteration. Oh, beautiful. Fuck. Yeah. I don't know why I said peach pie. I should yeah. have said peach pie. Yeah. I didn't say peach pie. Pie. No, I, said peach peach pie. No, I said peach pie. Peach cobbler. I said peach pie. Card games. Pass. The parcel. In a card form. <laughs> I, I, I got PA. I didn't get anywhere. So I just went. Idiot. I improved. Pass oh. the parcel. That's not a card game. Well, though. it could be. Pothole. Now, what's what? how do you play pothole? <laughs> She'll probably fucking get it. That's a good one. <laughs> how it's do you a, play pothole? It's um similar to what happens when you see them on the streets. Is you like hit them. Pot, pothole? Yeah, so you, you hit it with your cards. So you and you go, pothole. Yeah. Similar, yes. Yeah, so very similar to Uno. Yeah. Actually. Where is that? Where was that? Pothole card game, mate. Yeah. Was that in Let's pa- just give Pakistan? it a cross. Pakistan? Was that in Pakistan they invented that it's one? It's called Pakistan Pothole. That's another alliteration. Yeah, it's, I think Hold I on. forgot that bit. Yeah, I think it was made by the Hasbro brothers. Yeah, I can't see anything here. Yeah, there's not. Let's give not yourself. Coming a coming up? Give yourself a cross, kid. It's fine. It's all good. You guys can't use Google well enough to <laughs> find something that I've <laughs> clearly played my whole life, but all good. Yeah, Pothole. Good. Sweet. Is it a board game? Would give me a half point for that. I don't think we would, buddy. No, because it's not a card game. <laughs> Fucking crazy, it's even a board game. Yeah. Anyway. Types of drink. All right. Paloma. It's a great cocktail. Thirteen. Mm. Smoked it again. Thirteen two. That is oh sorry, I got thirteen out of twelve. What'd you get? Thirteen. All right. Minus two. Right. You got eleven. Yeah. You're getting better. I know, I actually am, aren't I? Okay, we've been speaking about it for a few weeks now. We're actually finally following through with something. Correct. We're going to um, prank phone call Locke's business partner. Yep. And Jarch is going to do that voice that he did, the one where he's like, you got a trailer, mate? Yes, yes, yes. Just going to go like this. Basically, the concept is I get nervous before those things. No, nah, you're fucking fine. I, but nervous. I just get nervous. Yeah. The concept is I'm calling him up, Lockie, their business partner. So this is Lockie's business partner. I've seen Lockie on the road yesterday. He's cut me off, hasn't given me a wave. And then we've had a mild altercation, and I just want to see what his business partner yeah. has to say about that. Yeah, but you don't know yeah. that they're business partners. You I don't. Someone in I'll just go, mate, yeah. I got the number off the bloody truck. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, let's go. All right. Hi, Timothy. G'day, mate. Who's speaking? Steve. Steve. G'day, mate. How you going? Good, mate. Good. That's the way. Mate. You all good? Yep. Yeah, mate, all good. Mate, I just um, mate, I just wanted to give you a bell. Um, I don't know how involved you are with the business, mate. Yesterday I was in Camberwell, and um, yep. there was a bloke in a gunmetal grey Ford Ranger. Um, it yeah. had your logo, the Smith and Drake logo on it. Oh yeah. Now, look, I don't want to be a fuckwit. I think I consider myself yeah. a pretty good bloke. Um, yep. I've let him in, mate, to bloody in front of me. Traffic was half fucked. I've let him in. No wave. I've then pulled up beside him and just said, mate, this is fucking Australia. If someone lets you in, you wave. Now, he's wound down his window. He's called me a fuckhead. Right? <laughs> so he's, called, yeah, he's, not on that. he's given me some. Yeah. And I just thought to myself, yeah. fucking you smart bloody doing that with a number on your bloody side of your car. Now, yeah, fair enough, mate. You, you know, mate, I, yeah. I consider myself a good bloke. And sure, mate, he was a big-looking rooster. You know, I'm only a skinny little fuck, so probably couldn't take him or nothing, not that I'd want to. But yeah. at the end of the day, uh, mate... I'm sure if you threw one from the bootlaces, you might, you might knock him. You might fucking land one on him. But, yeah, I know what you mean, mate. Yeah, sorry about that. I'll have your arm to him for you. Well, that'd be good, mate, because at the end of the day, it's a business, you're running it, unacceptable behaviour, especially when you're to be driving on the road. Road rules. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, man. Uh, all good, mate. Yeah, what was your name? Sorry, mate. Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fucking. That was not a. <laughs> oh, Drakey, it's Judge and Lou. Mate. Oh, fuck. 
Fuck. Oh, fuck, that was that so was good. I'm like, this is, I'm like taking the pee. I was sitting there going, I should pull over and record this. <laughs> Was <laughs> that oh, you, Jack? Is that your voice? Yeah, mate. So I just, well, it's Stephen's voice, not Stephen. <laughs> oh, no, mate, what is it? I was like, just cut his, there's no way known someone's ringing this point. Fuck, you've done well there. Oh, <laughs> fuck, that here. was good. What's Thanks, going mate. on? That was absolutely unreal. Oh, mate, We've we been just... planning that for a few weeks. I text Locke, I was like, we're going to do it today. We're going to prank him. <laughs> oh, Oh, I hope you guys got a giggle out of it, bruh. I hope you at least got a giggle. Um, I, I knew I was like, I'll say what Lockie would have done. Threw one from the blue place because you might have knocked him. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I just thought oh. I'd play on Lockie's <laughs> willingness to fucking have a stink and the fact that he loves calling oh, like, people fuckheads. I'm like, surely that will work. Oh, that's the thing. Oh. I believe that because like, oh, if this is legit, 100% Lockie would have fucking... Told him to fuck it. I'm like, as if someone's ringing me to say that they fucking. Like, you've gone to a lot of trouble because there's no numbers on the U either. Oh, oh true. Oh, God. I was fed misinformation, <laughs> bud. Oh, that's so good. Mate, well, uh, thanks for being on the internet. I'm like. <laughs> nah, all good. Very good. <laughs> thanks, Drakey. Uh, you're a legend, bud. Yeah. Hey, Bye. 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 <laughs> oh, Judge, you did that so well. <laughs> So and you go, the row, the row, rules. rules. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Stephen. 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 I didn't want to, I didn't want to, I wanted it to be a dumb name. So I was like, Stephen. Oh, he did, he, he, like, if that was legit, he played that very well. But he like, did. Not on, mate. And then had a joke with you. Yeah, like, yeah, I have yeah. a word to him. Yeah, straight. But get him by the boot, like, just fuck me. Oh, oh. Hey, they're fun, fuck. man. That was so good. They're fun to we've do. We've got to do some more prankies. Yeah, we've need we them. did them for a while and then we stopped. Yeah. Well, yeah. You I, could almost do that to any business. Yeah. True, but You can go onto their site, find out who's driving, who's who. I Sometimes just would, I have an about with the team. People I'd would be get conscious of like... Of we don't, you don't want to do it too hectic. Like, just something like that. You can cut me off in traffic. Oi. True. New segment alert. Dobbin your business partner or workplace oh, and yeah. we'll prank them. Louisa. That's it. Genius. Bang, Bum bang. Ball. She's got one on the books. Ba-boom. That's a great idea. Yeah. How do we get them to do it? Call the hotline. Or email because if, if they're also a listener, they might listen in. So email yes. woodamoo at hellosport.com.au yep. with yes. your business partner, their name, and, and we'll all the details. Them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prank businesses. Fuck, yes. That's – or yeah, prank – or even just fucking – Friends, your mates, whatever. Yeah, and just pranks. You could give us like a little bit of a like. You could give if, if you think give there's a, a good a reason. Spiel. You know, your mate owes your money or whatever. Give us a few of their idiosyncrasies as well, so it Correct. sounds bespoke. Yeah, yeah, sounds legit. Great words. Uh, that was so good, Josh. Well done. I just I like. <laughs> you know when people get on the horse and they do like the inflections of the voice, like you know, at the end of the day, yeah, I'm a good bloke. But I love how you keep bringing it back to me like, oh, I'm not a bad bloke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh we have fun. Well done. You know what I could? I saw this bird do this the other day. You know what I? And she was like, she can hum and whistle at the same time. <whistles> Hold on. No. <laughs> Hold on. No. I could do it. <whistles> oh fuck! I could do it. No, you couldn't, kid. Don't lie to us, kid. Don't lie to yourself. Damn it! I had it. You've been flat out all week, have you? <laughs> Just learning. <laughs> Just learning to hum and whistle, you fuckhead. <laughs> that is literally what I spent probably 35 minutes sitting there doing, just going. <laughs> <laughs> it's just but, tough. It's just. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Tough lesson. Tough lesson. I'm so glad we covered this. <laughs> That's enough. That was it. That was great. Thank right. you. Hop, up, 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 up. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Josh, Lou and Willie. <coughs> okay, we're just having a couple of drinks and we've got a question. Mm. One of our friends is, is seeing someone and he said to her, are they exclusive now? Does exclusive mean that they're in a relationship? Yeah. No, it doesn't. No. Or does it mean that they're just <laughs> not coitusing not other people? <laughs> Let us know. Love you guys. Bed with us for life. Woo! Love you. Let me take over here, champ, because you've take been out of the kid. game for a while. Take over, kid. Exclusive is you're not getting with other people. Yep. If you're in a relationship, I'd say you'd say we're boyfriend and girlfriend. But a lot of people don't ask to be boyfriend and girlfriend these days. It just happens. Yeah, because we're not eight. Well, in a schoolyard. Lumpy what, asked me. What did you say? Want to fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one for the mother-in-law. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, no, most people. Are, People just say we're we exclusive, and then sometimes that would be the end. And then you well, just if that's know the catalyst, gonna... then that surely is your relationship. I know, Jack. There are many hurdles to jump through, and relationships in this. Yeah, I understand age. that I've been out of the game, but you're still talking to me like a child, like yeah. I've never been in a fucking relationship. No, you, yeah, it's the, been many, many, many years. It's been many been moons. In the game. But I would argue that if you are indeed exclusive with another individual, you're not sucking and fucking around. There's no point asking to be boyfriend and girlfriend. You kind of are in a relationship. Or girlfriend and girlfriend you are. and boyfriend and boyfriend. Exactly right. You know what I mean, though? I agree. Well, then you've changed your tune. But No, I agree with that sense, but that I think situation, they're boyfriend and girlfriend then. Okay, well, I, I, that situation is definitely they're just exclusive, not getting with other peeps. Well, I guess that's the thing. You People would miss... But, so what, the, what is the difference? The, I, there isn't really one. It's bizarre. So they are like, boyfriend and girlfriend. Well, no, because it would be like, imagine if you were with the person, they're like, we're exclusive, sweet, and then you go, oh, this is my boyfriend, and they go, what? No, we're not. Well, I would be like I am because we're not very exclusive. You're old. You don't get it, kid. Good point. <laughs> Next one, Willie. Although, wouldn't you say if you're exclusive with one another, <clears throat> you're just with that one person? So that is, you're in a relationship. That yeah. is literally what exclusive means. I know, guys. So this, this is exclusive. You're old. There's many hoops to go through. Hey, kid. You've jumped up into the thirties too. Let's not be too I'm tough young. going over here. I'm very, you might very look young. It. You might look it. You might act it, but you ain't. <laughs> Next. <laughs> hey, Lou, Jarchi, big boy, Willie. Uh, sorry, I'm a bit behind. I'm just up to episode one sixty, and I've just before you said it, Jarchi, I decided to Google. These friggin' golden goose shoes and see what all the fuss was about. <laughs> Don't, Willie. No offence, Lou, but, mate, you are taking the piss. Oh, I love it, mate. Fucking 800 plus bucks oh, for those. Fuck. You know, the people who wear them are the same people who give me shit for owning a nice pair of $600 RMs and I fucking look after and don't want them worn or the stress. That is a fucking joke. Wouldn't be caught dead in them. Um, shit out at the golden goose fuck because both that mob had ripped to the fucking ripper <laughs> getting people to pay for that. Fucking oath. You guys? Um, yeah, the more you know. Mate, you you're guys a guy. You're still love you either way, but man, fucking bush those shoes, chuck them in the creek. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> right, love you all. You Cheers. know what's happening here? You Let's... guys are ruining my chances of Golden Goose ever sponsoring me. Felix, could you reach out to Golden Goose for me? I'd lo He's already has. He's a good kid, kid. Hey, mate, let me give you that tip. Golden Goose obviously do chuck them in some sort of a fucking creek before they sell them. These are good-looking shoes, Jack. No, they're fucking not. They look like shit. Hey, um, mate, I couldn't agree more. I love that you looked into them, and you're dead right. You bought because that's the thing. Buying a pair of R.M. Williams boots or something like that. You have them forever. Exactly. You can wear them with it. Resole Same with them. these kids. Resole them. Look after them. I could resole these. And it cost about a, that'd cost a pair of R.M.s just to resole the. No, cards. it wouldn't. Would. I'll take them to my local cobbler. This is the greatest thing. Dude, fashion people, you've got to give it to them. They're fucking geniuses because they just prey on the dumb and make people buy shit like that and make it fashion. <laughs> Wrecked. You're wearing a top that says how to pick up chicks. It's probably from like JJ's from Correct. 2009. $20 probably, and it has given me that much joy. So much joy. Okay, a lot of joy. Right. Joy. <laughs> yeah, Bok Joy. I'm not happy with you. Oh, Louisa. Joy Casadaly. <laughs>
That's good stuff. I'm not kissing you. Helen of Joy. I'm happy with it. Oh, well, my, my, my. What a wonderful voice message that was. Anyway, <laughs> I am just calling up <laughs> off the back of the yarn about uh, potentially going down to Victoria to potentially spectate. And I mean potentially spectate. It's good. With a one piece footy game. <laughs> now, I just think that's splendid. And I just, uh, I just couldn't help but notice uh, little Willie there, Willie, 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 Willie Bum Bum. Uh, he mentioned that you know a brass band would be a lovely addition to that uh, to your little ensemble that you've got. Okay. And I just wanted to call up and say that I am in a brass band myself. Guys. I play the trombone. We have a saxophone. We have a big sax in my phone. We have a tuba. Get fucked. A big tuba. We have a couple of drums. Dwarf. And most importantly, we have a trumpet. A trumpet. So let me know, senoritas. I can't keep fucking doing that. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, let us know. <laughs> uh, All right. Um. Copy. Roger. Uh, let us know. Roger. Yeah, you got guys. one other Guys, on the copy. Guys, we've got till the 20th of September to make this happen. And you know what they said I can do? Be water girl. So the assistant coach said that I can run out with the no, drink. No, Cleo. With the drink bottles. No. But he said that I said you'd have to tell me when to run because I don't want to get hit by it in the head with a ball. Yeah, correct. To hold on. F- 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 okay, fine. You can be water girl. Let's go back to what he That's just what said. That's what I said. We got to the 20th of September. So h- how do we make th- So. We rock up to one of the games. Yep. With a brass band. Yep. And we, I suppose we couldn't play during. I reckon every time Wumpy scores, scores, marks, it does anything, we just play just quick like. Yeah, I think. Like, dun, 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 dun. So if he ca- gets a mark, it should be like. Oh. Wumpy. And then you go, you got a microphone, you go, Wumpy got a mark. <laughs> <laughs> and then fucking, if he scores a goal, that would it's be literally like, so it's a song that never ends. How off putting would that be for him and the other team though? Like, is it allowed? Surely. Fuck him. Let's do it. Fuck it. Fuck Guys, the cotton. You got to come with me. Mate, this is wheelhouse turning stuff. This is getting me stiffer than a fucking board. Wumpy gets a mark. Yeah, I think it should be like, you know what I mean? Wumpy. Yeah, Wumpy. The other team's like, who the fuck is this guy? Can't. Hey, hey, okay, mate. First of all, love that you kept that shtick up for so long. Second of all, I dare say we're going to have to be in contact with you. We've got the 20th, so we've got a month. Could we do it on the 20th? We don't know if they're going to make the final. Fingers crossed. Won't be in time. Probably can't be doing it on the final. F- final's so. punchy, isn't it? It's got to be end of org. Roughly around that time, start of sept. Well, I'm going to fucking... Hu- oh. We'll talk about this off air. We'll figure out a date. That's exactly what we'll do. Maybe the 8th. The 7th. Oh, all right, fuck it. Who cares? I don't that know. That works. We'll, but we'll figure it out. That works, kid. I love that guy. He was fucking awesome. Hey, fellas. I started listening to the potty when I started training for a half marathon a couple months ago. Anyway, today was the Sunshine Coast Marathon Festival, and about nine kilometres in, I had to take a break to take a dump because I thought I was going to shit my pants. And my first thought was about you guys. Dumpy. So, yeah, I finished the half marathon. <laughs> Definitely couldn't have gotten through all the training without you guys. So, yeah, best it for life. Saru. Well done, sister. Clap for her. Nailed it. Mate, what a fucking rooster. And didn't shit herself. Clap again. She took a whittle. Dumpy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, bed shitters for life. The um the marathon shit, bruh, is something I won't do because I don't think I can do it. We could do a half. Yeah. So much respect to you, Dale, for doing it. Crazy that you used us to get through. Yeah. Wild. Be but burning my ears. Beers. But f- absolutely love it. And we love you and proud of you. Mm-hmm. Mwah. Stop shaking. Names in the Bible starting with G. Sure are. Oh, fucking 
I don't God. fucking know. Maybe God? <laughs> you don't fuck. <laughs> How the fuck did we not get that? <laughs> what a judge. Say I said Gerard. Oh, I said Gary or something. <laughs> you dumb God. fucks. How about God? You dumb fucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that good. fucking shit. That is great. I love it. We're not here. I love you guys. We're not here because we're intelligent. No. Let's just say that. We're here because we have we are fun. Very uh, unintelligent. intelligent. Yes. We're fucking idiots. That's the easiest one. Like Gerard and fucking... God. The book was written about him, dude. <laughs> it's like, name someone starting with H in Harry Potter. It's like, Hermione? Uh, Hape? Still it. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> um, Honing he- Hurtle? Uh, Hedwig. Hedwig, I think. Hey, you, it's Mr. Worldwide. Hey, you, it's Mr. 305. <laughs> Coming at you with We Mean Well. Louisa and Josh, you smell. Oh, wait, that's Stinky Lou. And hey, Willie, I see you too. I hope you just air this live because it's Mr. 305. And I'm a girl, by the way, and I can do the machine. I yeah. noticed that. She was great. She was very good at it. You reckon she freestyled that? I'd like to think so. I'd like Same. to think so as well. I'd like to give her that. Because that was punchy as. Um, I loved that so much. It was very good. The <laughs> 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 or. No, you sound like a fucking cat. I am Yeti. In a <laughs> <laughs> I am Yeti. I am it's Yeti. Late. I am woman. It's 1.30. Uh, um, now listen up. Hey, guys, don't forget merch. We <coughs> mean well dot shop next Wednesday, the 21st of August, not July because Jarch is a fuckwit. Okie dokie. Um, at 6 p.m. And and we love you all and keep pissing and, and lots of kisses for each other. Huru and the Zuzu, we love the lot of you. See you on the Patreon if you're sticking around. Oh, super. Oh, remember you got that thing for the super. Shh. Okay, sorry, sorry, Save sorry, 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 sorry. Save sorry. for the air. Fucking love you, cunts. Mwah. Ciao, ciao.